now let us discuss about bitwise operators in javascript bitwise operators are mainly useful in order to perform operations on bits of the operator mainly we have six bitwise operators first one is bitwise and second one is bitwise or third one is bitwise exclusive or or can also be called as xr fourth one is bitwise complement or this can also be called as once complement fifth one is bitwise shift left or left shift and the last one is bitwise shift right or right shift bitwise and is denoted by single ampersand symbol bitwise or is denoted by single pipe symbol bitwise exclusive or is denoted by cap symbol once complement is denoted by tilde symbol or bitwise complement is denoted by tilde symbol left shift is denoted by two less than symbols right shift is denoted by two greater than symbols first let us see about what is bitwise and bitwise and means when both the bits are one the result is one otherwise the result is zero so let us see an example here a and b so the possible bits are the possible combinations are 00011011 so what is bitwise and when both the bits are 11 the result is 1 when both the bits are 1 the result is 1 otherwise the result is 0 so 00 means 0 01 means 0 10 means 0 next let us see about bitwise or what is bitwise or when both the bits are 0 the result is 0 otherwise the result is 1 that means if one of the bit is 1 the result is 1 otherwise the result is 0 so 0 0 means both zeros so the result is 0 0 1 means we have 1 1 1 0 means we have 1 1 double 1 means we have two ones so 0 1 means 1 1 0 means 1 1 1 means 1 let us see about bitwise exclusive or when both the bits are same that means 0 0 or 1 1 the result is 0 otherwise that means when both the bits are different the result is 1 so 0 0 means same bits so the result is 0 1 1 means same bits so the result is 0 0 1 means different bits so the result is 1 1 0 means different bits so the result is 1 now let us take an example for the bitwise and bitwise are bitwise exclusive uh here we are using 8421 notation zero means all zeros one means we have to write one in one position so 3001 two means we have to write one in two position remaining bit 00 three means sum of two and one so we have to write one in two position one position four means we have to write what is four here four means Four means zero one zero zero. What is four here? Four means zero one double zero. So likewise, we can represent the numbers eight four two one notation. Why? Because here we are performing operations on the bits of the operand. Let a is equal to four, b is equal to seven. So how to represent four here? Four means zero one double zero. Seven means zero triple one. First, let us see about under operation. what is and when both the bits are one the result is one otherwise the result is zero so zero one means the result is zero zero one means the result is zero one one means both the bits are one so the result is one zero zero means zero zero one double zero in decimal notation is four so four is the output now let's take an example here here what is a value a value is four b value is seven document dot write a of h1 a and b is here we are performing a and b operation a value is 4 b value is 7 we are placing the content in the header tag so then we we will get output as 4 so let us observe the output here what is a and b output 4 is the output here if we run the program for a and b the output is 4 for a or b the output is 7 for a exclusive or b the output is 3 now let us see about r operation so r bitwise or means if one of the bit is 1 the result is 1 otherwise the result is 0 so 01 means 1 01 means 1 11 means 1 00 means 
Zero triple one means seven. So R means we are getting output as seven. So if we observe the output here, if we observe the output, A R B is equal to seven. Now let us see about exclusive R. Exclusive R. So bo when both the bits are different, the result is one. When both the bits are same, the result is zero. So zero one means one different bits. Zero one means one different bits. One one means same bits zero. So zero zero means same bits zero. Zero zero double one in decimal notation is three. So if you see the output, what is a exclusive R B? Three is the output. Now let us see about the remaining three operations. Remaining three. Next one is bitwise exclusive R. A bitwise exclusive R is already over. Next one is bitwise complement or once complement denoted by tilde symbol. Here bitwise complement is performed on a single operand. So one operand is enough. Here we are performing operation on A. Let A is equal to four. So four means zero one double zero. Here once complement means zeros are converted to ones, ones are converted to zero. So zero means it is converted to ones. Zero means it is converted to one. So one means it is converted to zero. Zero means it is converted to one. Okay. So bitwise complement or once complement means zero will be converted to one and ones will be converted to zero. Here, what is the sign bit? The leftmost bit. This bit is called a sign bit. So if the sign bit is one, then we can say that it is a negative number. Whereas if the sign bit is zero, then we can say that it is a positive number. Here the sign bit is one, so we can say that it is a negative number. Negative numbers are always represented in two's complement notation. So let us calculate two's com two's complement for this number. The formula for the two's complement is one's complement plus one. So one's complement is equal to one zero one one means zero one double zero zero one double zero plus we need to add one here. If we add one zero one means one. Next remaining three bits the result won't changes zero one zero. Okay, here what is the sign bit? One is the sign bit. So one means it is a negative number. So that's why here we are writing minus zero one zero one one zero one means what? Zero one zero one is nothing but five, or one zero one is nothing but five. So that's why here we are writing minus five. Now let us see the program execution for bitwise uh, complement operator. Here we have taken a as four. A as four. Document dot write off h one comma tilde of a is equal to plus a. So if a is four, then we will get tilde of a as minus five. Already we have seen with the help of an example. Let us see the program execution. Tilde of a is equal to minus five. Now let us see about the last two two operators. Bitwise left shift operator, bitwise right shift operator. Left shift operator is denoted by less than less than. Here, let us take an example here. Let a is equal to four. A less than less than one. Then what will happen is the bits of the operand are shifted to the left by specified number of positions. Here we have given one. So the bits of the operand are shifted to the left by one position. Bitwise left shift means we have to append zero to the right hand side. So here we are appending the zero to the right hand side, and we need to shift each bit of the operand one position to the left. So this zero is shifted one position to the left. This zero is shifted one position to the left. This one is shifted one position to the left. So if we perform bitwise left shift operator, then the leftmost bit will be discarded. So this is the leftmost bit. So this bit will be discarded. Here we got the result as one three bull zero. One three bull zero in decimal notation is eight. So this is the output here. Here what is the operand? Four is the operand. If we perform the bitwise operator, then what will happen is, if we move one position to the left, then we will get result as multiplication of two. So four into two means eight. We will get eight as the output. Now let us see about bitwise right shift operator. Bitwise right shift means we have to append zero to the left hand side, and all the bits of the operand are shifted one position to the right. So zero is shifted one position to the right. One is shifted one position to the right. Zero is shifted one position to the right. If we perform the bitwise right shift operator, rightmost bit will be discarded. Whereas if we perform the bitwise left shift, zero will be discarded. Okay, so zero zero one zero in decimal notation is two. If we perform the bitwise right shift operator, then if we move one position to the right, then the result is division by two. Four by two means two is the output. Now let us see the program execution. Bitwise left shift. Here what is a value? A is given as four. 
So 4 means we will get output as here we are shifting one position to the left. So A less than less than 1 means we will get 8 as the result. Whereas A greater than greater than 1 means here the, 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 the value of the A won't changes. Here simply we are performing the bitwise left shift by one position. But the result of A, the value of A won't changes. The value of A will be 4 only. So if we do the right shift operation by shifting one position to the left, right, then we will get 4 by 2. That means 2. So here the result is 8 and 2. So let us save the program and let's check whether output is correct or not. So 8 and 2. So this is about bitwise operators in JavaScript.